Welcome back everyone, I'm Danny the Dinosaur Drawer and today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw Mosasaurus Generation 2 from the Jurassic World the Game Tournament which is going on right now. So yeah, get out your pencil, paper and eraser and we'll get started. As usual, we will be starting off with an outline. So the head of our Mosasaurus is going to be right about here, near the left side of our page. The jaws are going to be slightly cracked open and the body is going to be snaked upwards. It's got like an S shape going on. And the tail is going to be like way back here. See, it's got like a snake like body. More like a salamander, I should say. Because that is what Mosasaurus is related to. Or well, not exactly a salamander, more like a lizard. It's like a great sea lizard. Okay, yeah, so the body is going to be right about here. Similar to a snake, it's hard to tell where the body ends from where the tail starts. I think the tail will start right about here, like, because there's the back flippers. I think after the back flippers, that's pretty much where the body ends. So we got the front flippers. The main focus is obviously going to be the head in this drawing, because that's the closest thing to us. We have some of the other flippers showing. All right, the tail's going to be a lot wider here as well. And just so you guys know, this is not level 40, so I'm sorry to all of you who are searching to draw level 40 Mosasaurus Generation 2. I'll probably cover that in a later video. But yeah, I think this is it for our outline. It's on the sloppy side, but that's okay. And um, be sure to get out a pen, because we are going to be doing a pen stage later on in the video. So get that pen prepared. So this is what I call like the refining stage, where we're going to put more detail into everything and just finish things up before we move on to the pen stage. So the first thing we're going to tackle is obviously the head. And have your eraser handy as well because I did a pretty sloppy job with the outline. At least this time around. Okay, so we want to put our main line in right about there. Then we're going to draw the top of the head. It's got a very elongated snout. Eye is going to be right about there. Put in the pupil. Maybe put in the eyelid and a few more wrinkles. But again, we'll add a little bit more detail later in the pen stage. So I'll have the jaw open just about this much. And the head is sort of at an angle, so we're going to see a lot of the bottom. A lot of the bottom jaw and some of the upper jaw. We're going to see the inside of the upper jaw. So we're going to go ahead and put some teeth in. They don't have to be super accurate because I'm planning to do this in pen and then erase the pencil marks. But you don't have to do that. You can do the whole thing in pencil. That's totally fine. Okay, so I think the head is pretty much complete. I'm sorry if my hand is getting in the way, guys. I'll try to remember to keep it out because I've been getting some comments recently of people who are telling me to get my hand out of the way. I do realize that's super annoying in a tutorial. All right, so the body actually is not too bad. The outline was pretty accurate. And I'm just going to firm up these lines a bit. It does look like it has a few little spikes on the back here. So we'll put those in. This first flipper is a little sloppy, so let's correct that. First, I'm just going to erase the first flipper. So the shoulder is going to be right about here. That's where we're going to put in two wrinkles. And then once we're done with that, we can actually put in the whole fin. Like so. So as you can see, I changed it up a bit from the reference image. Just to make it a little easier to draw. And it still looks great. In fact, I think it looks better. <laughs> okay, so yeah, for the body, we might, we might want to put a little bit of curved lines here to show where the stomach is. The body continues. And here we're going to have our first hind fins, hind flippers, I guess. So I'll have that first one sticking out the side, like so. We'll have this other one just hiding back there. I'm going to be using my eraser just to clean a few things up a bit before we head on to the pen stage. 
because things have gotten a little messy. All right, looks much better. Let's brush these out of the way. I'm just going to strengthen this midline, which is a line that basically um, separates the top from the bottom of the Mosasaurus's body. Similar to like a great white shark, you know how the belly is all white and the top is like a grayish color. And it's got some really cool shadows, which we will definitely put in once we get our pens out. Now it's funny, I'm noticing it looks like there are some spikes back here, but on the underside of the tail. So this is completely new. So perhaps this Generation 2 Mosasaurus has got some extra things. Or it could be that this is actually the top of the tail and the tail is just twisted so much. But I'm pretty sure this is the bottom of the tail. Alright. So I think the pencil stage is pretty much finished. We've got a bunch of wrinkles here that we're going to put in. We can always add more wrinkles around the limbs. Today, instead of using an Arteza pen, I've decided to use this BIC four color pen, which Beanie Draws, I think, uses in some of his tutorials. And yeah, I just found it in my drawer today, so I thought, why not do a tutorial using this pen? So yeah, let's give it a try. But yeah, any pen will work fine, and if you're still using your pencil, that's fine too. Okay, so we're gonna move on to the head, or start with the head, I should say. And this stage is gonna be kind of easy. We're just gonna be tracing quite a lot. But we also are going to be adding in a few more things that we didn't put in when we were in the pencil stage. So it's a lot of fun drawing with the ballpoint pen. I feel like it's a little bit smoother than a felt tipped pen and you can put less effort in when drawing because it slides easier across the paper. Okay, we've got our main lines traced there. Move on to the head. Put some wrinkles around the eye. I'm gonna put in the pupil. And of course we'll have to add some shading, as I promised. Let's shade this area. I'm gonna add some bumpy scale texture to the top of the head right about there. And a little bit around here on this upper ridge. Yeah, and be sure to pause the video if you need to go ahead and copy that. Okay, so the nose is not, it's not clear where it's at, but I've drawn Mosasaurus before, and I think it's right about there. It could be a little off, and that's okay. Now let's add some lines coming up from the lip. It's got a slight cavity here. We'll cross hatch this. There's also a slight cavity back here as well. Okay, so our upper, um, the head is pretty much finished. Now we're going to move on to the teeth of the upper jaw. Now be sure to make these a little bit larger than you think you'll need to, because once you put black behind them, it shrinks their size like by a lot. So trust me and just draw your teeth a little bit bigger, at least on this row. The next row you can do, you can make them a little bit smaller. Plus they're going to be a little bit further away, so you want to use your perspective skills. And I might as well just do the teeth on the bottom jaw right away as well. Okay, so now comes the somewhat difficult part. We are going to be shading in between all of these teeth. Now we can put in a little bit of scales right here. On the edge of the bottom jaw. Like so. Gonna add a little bit of shading here. So this is right where the neck is going to attach to the lower jaw. 
And Mosasaurus has a very thick neck to support those jaws. Also, let's just add a few more wrinkles to give it some more texture, because I did notice this picture has some wrinkles. As you guys can see, I added a little bit more detail to the head, and now we can move on to the neck. So the neck's going to have some large wrinkles. And with these wrinkles, you want to make them slightly slanted to make our image look more 3D. It's got a lot of wrinkles. Got some small ones in between. See, so yeah, don't be trying to add a lot of wrinkles. And right now we're just going to trace this body line pretty much all the way back to those first, to that first second fin. And right away, I'm just going to add a few spikes on top of the spine. I'll have these fade off into the distance. Okay, so let's actually add this flipper in first. This one's going to be mostly shaded in. So we'll cross hatch that. And we can add a few more lines going in a vertical direction, or horizontal, sorry. But at the same time, we want to make this look natural and not look like... We want to make it look like a bunch of checker... like a checkerboard, you know? So I'm just going to add a few slanted lines here to give it a few, little bit of shading. Okay, so now we can add some wrinkles in around the shoulder area of this large front pectoral fin. It's not exactly a fin, it's more of a flipper. <laughs> I think sharks have fins. Mosasaurus has like flippers. Because like a fin seems more like a stiff thing, you know? So right now I'm adding a bunch of slanted lines just to show the shape of this fin. Flipper, sorry. <laughs> Alright, so underneath this flipper we can add a little bit of shading, like so. Then from here we're going to have this line that goes up. I'll show the shape of the belly. Okay, so our Mosasaurus is looking fabulous. I really, really like Mosasaurus. It's probably my favorite aquatic dinosaur. Aquatic, uh, sorry, my favorite aquatic creature, or shall I say sea lizard. Because I remember I said, I think I said that in my early Mosasaurus tutorial. I said, Mosasaurus is my favorite dinosaur, and I got some comments of people saying, guess what, Mosasaurus, it's not a dinosaur, it's a sea reptile, whatever. So now I'm more careful about what I say. <laughs> I'm trying to be a little bit more scientifically accurate for you guys. Okay, so we're adding some more slanted lines. These just come with practice, you know. I'm able to do them pretty quickly. I bet a lot of you guys are too, but take your time if you need to. And also, feel free to pause the video whenever you want. Okay, so the belly is going to be mostly shaded in. Like a light sort of shade, it's not going to be too dark. And these lines will be horizontal. And also slightly bent. If you guys have ever used a BIC pencil or, or pen, or for that matter, like any ballpoint pen, it has like more of a smell, you know. It's got like a unique smell compared to the felt tipped pens. I personally like the felt tip pens better, I think, just because it gives like a darker, more solid line. But this one's always fun every now and then. It's a great, great doodle pen. If you want to doodle, definitely get this pen. Alright, so let's add in the first of the back flippers. And we're seeing this one sort of like from a side angle. It's just going to be a little bit tricky to draw. Let's go ahead and shade in the bottom part of it. 
Yeah, it's quite thin. I'm gonna move on to the bottom flipper. The bottom black, <laughs> the bottom back flipper, which we are gonna be shading in, just like we did with this flipper. Got some cross hatching going there. Let's just continue this tail. It shouldn't be too hard. Could are just tracing lines. Okay, so let's continue this line, that midline I was talking about. And basically like everything to this side of it is going to be shaded in. So we'll go ahead and do that. Actually, I'm going to start up here. I make these bent vertical lines. Okay, so that looks pretty good. Also, I'm going to shade a little bit on this side. We can, we can continue our long lines here on the bottom. <clears throat> so I think, yeah, no, we're now in the tail region, definitely, because we've passed the back flippers. And these long lines will stop right about there. And now we'll add in these spikes. They're sticking out of the tail. So guys, be sure to comment below if you'd like me to do a tutorial on Mosasaurus Generation 2 level 40. I still haven't seen a picture of it at level 40 yet. I'm sure somebody already has it at level 40. But yeah, I have not seen a picture yet, but I will get onto it and add it to my list if you guys would like to see a tutorial on that. Because things at level 40 are always pretty cool. Have more spikes, you know, more stripes. Bigger teeth, <laughs> all that good stuff. Let's do some, a lot of cross hatching here to add some shading to the tail. This part of the tail is really what powers the Mosasaurus forward in the water. Its flippers are probably more for steering, but could also be used to power it through the water. I know, like, like Preardon definitely use its flippers similar to a plesiosaur. All right, guys, so we are pretty much finished. I don't think there's that much need to erase the pencil marks. I mean, you can clean up a bit of the smudging that happened. But other than that, we can leave a lot of the pencil marks because they almost add like a cool art effect to it. So yeah, I'm gonna leave mine there. And the next thing we're gonna do, and probably the last thing, is sign our names. So I'm just going to sign my initials in the corner, put the date, and yeah, I might add a few more touches up after I turn off the camera, because I always do that. Like an art piece is pretty much never done, you can always do a little bit more. But yeah, if you guys have enjoyed this video, leave it a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and do me a big favor and subscribe to my vlog channel, where I do adventures, like travel adventures, workouts, and fun times with friends, and I think you guys will find this entertaining and inspiring, especially in this time of quarantine. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.